So, Bruce, what I'm going to ask you to do is I'm just going to ask you to stand on uh, your right leg, and I want you to touch the stick, and I don't want you to depress it. This is on a T-band, a therapeutic uh, exercise band, and I want you to um, try not to depress the stick, just balance. Can you do that? Okay. Give it a go. All right, so what you're seeing, go ahead, try it again. What you're seeing is he's, he's, he's struggling with it and, and he doesn't have anything to depend on, so there's actually some consequences for him. So this is why this stick is a little more difficult than using a block. So let's go ahead and look at that next. So now we're going to compare Bruce's single limb stance activity to doing it on a block. And you can look at this and compare for yourself. Go ahead, Bruce. And step down. So if this is the activity that we're going to be practicing single limb support on, do you see how much better he performed on this? So Bruce, tell me about the difference between this and that T-band stick. It was very normal. It was more secure. OK. And why do you feel like you had such a hard time with the T-band stick? It moved. OK. So that's, that's the take home message here is that it doesn't have to be a T-band stick, but if you create a target with consequences, that is what you really want to do in your treatment plans when you're working on anticipatory postural control so that there can be a knowledge of results along the way as they are practicing this activity. Mm -hmm.